here is a map of Rome and the Rome airport known as Fiumicino or FCO. It's about 21 miles away from the Termini train station in the city center of Rome. And I'm going to talk about the three ways you can get from the airport to the Termini train station. And that's going to be taxi, train, and bus. And I'm going to show you actually in the airport where to get these things and detail the prices and the times it takes. Now, if you've never been to Rome, you may be wondering why you need to get to Termini Station. Well, for one, all the trains go through there. So the Metro, the Suburban, and the long distance trains go through Termini Station. Two, if you're a tourist, you're probably staying somewhere in the vicinity of Termini Station because there's a lot of hotels around there. And three, even if you're not staying around Termini Station in a hotel, you will be probably going through there uh, to go see all the tourist attractions in the area there. So looking on this map, you see that everything is really close to Termini Station. Trevi Fountain, Altar of the Fatherland. And so even things like Vatican Museum is only two and a half miles away. Uh, even though there's a metro that you're going to take to get there, I'm sure, but um, that's the farthest. So closer, like the Vona Plaza, Trevi Fountain, those are within like a, a mile or so from Termini Station. So it's really convenient to, to be there. And if you haven't booked your hotel yet, uh, you probably want to stay somewhere around there, even though um, I, I personally would try to stay a little bit further away, but maybe along some, some metro line, uh, a little outside of the, the city area there. This is the Rome Airport, Terminal 3, and this is where you exit from the baggage claim and customs. And anybody who's coming from another country is exiting through that area right there. So you'll pass this ground transportation sign uh, when you come out on your right. And to the left is the street, and a little bit up more is the taxi stands. So let's talk about the taxis. Uh, there is no Lyft, but there is a Uber, but you don't have regular Uber. You have to only order the Uber Premium. I think it's Uber Black. And those are about the same price as the flat rate taxi services here. So no real savings taking Uber. Um, the flat rate taxi from the airport to the Aurelian Walls, which is an old wall built around 300 AD around Rome. Um, anything inside that is the flat rate. I think currently it's about 48 euros, and that takes about 40 minutes to an hour. So that's the most expensive option. Uh, 48 euros currently is about $53. So it's pretty expensive. So all you got to do is go to the left. There's a million cab guys and there's a taxi line and you just get in line and take the taxi. So over here on the left, the escalators going down is to get to the train station. So we'll come back to this later after we take a look at the buses. So, um, like I said, taxis are the most expensive one, but obviously the easiest and it's it's an option i mean if you have multiple people with you um it probably makes sense or if you have a lot of luggage or whatever so um, it's definitely something to consider but if you have the time or um, you're just by yourself it might make more sense to take the bus or the train so all the way at the end here you pop out these doors and here's the buses now it's a little confusing because the buses that go to Termini Station are mixed in with some other buses here. There's some kind of charter buses and whatnot. Um, you see these military guys, they have their own charter bus. So just keep walking until you see the uh, ticket stands, the ticket booths for the buses that go to Termini. So they're names like TerraVision, SIT, and TAM. 
and they're all pretty much similar prices about five to six euros and they all go to Germany where some of them make some other stops like one goes through the neighborhood of the Vatican um, another one goes to I think uh, Ostien's train station so um, and then goes to Germany so they all go to Germany but um, they might make some different stops along the way um, and only one of them is 24 hours and that is TAM so if you are really late uh, at the airport and the train is no longer running because the train stops around 11:20. Um, you can still take the TAM bus um, all night long. Um, the other ones, the other buses, end somewhere around 12, 12:30 at night, something like that. So those were the ticket booths and the the bus station. I don't, it's it's somewhere over here I mean they'll they'll tell you which platform it's leaving from uh, from whichever particular company you're buying from so this is what it looks like here we are back at the escalators that head to the train station and the train station is across the street. So these escalators go under the street across to the train station. Uh, you can also go upstairs to the second floor on the airport and take a walkway that crosses over the roadway into the train station. So either way is fine. Uh, a little about the trains. Um, there is a Leo Da Vinci Express train called the Leo Express and that goes to Termini Express obviously um, in 30 minutes uh, but that costs 14 euros so about about $16 something like that um, more expensive than the bus but the bus is about an hour um, into Termini depending on traffic of course so funny thing is the Leo Express is quicker than a taxi, quicker than a bus, and it's cheaper than a taxi. Um, so it's kind of a no-brainer if you want to get to Termini, uh, especially midday. Uh, you might be hitting a lot of traffic with a taxi, but with the Express train, it's pretty much guaranteed to be there in 30 minutes. Um, there is also a commuter train that leaves from here, more like a, a local commuter train, and that doesn't go directly to Termini Station, but if you are staying somewhere in the vicinity of Rome, uh, it might make sense to look into that schedule uh, to see if there's a stop close to where you're staying. Um, that was the case with where I was staying. I was staying close to Ray di Roma metro station or the Tuscalana train station and so this train actually went to my Tuscalana train station so that's what I took uh, so the local train is only eight euros as opposed to the express that's 14 euros um, you can get to Termini by using the local train but you have to uh, change trains I think it is at Trasta, Trasta Vere. Um, so unless you are comfortable doing that, um, if it's your first time here, you're probably better off just taking the Leo Express and paying the 14 euros. Um, if you start getting comfortable with the area, then maybe you might want to look into uh, taking the local train and saving, you know, six euros or so. So here's the station and there's three tracks straight ahead. Two of them, I believe, are for the Leo Express and one is for the local train. So you can buy the tickets from the ticket machines, which take credit cards. There are also uh, manned ticket booths over on the left. And even most um, stores sell tickets uh, for the train. So here, like the tobacco, candy, newspaper, magazine stores, usually sell tickets uh, so it's not just here at the airport but in most um, Rome 
metro stations as well. So straight ahead is the entrance from the second floor, um, like I said, in the airport that goes across the roadway. So after you get your ticket, you validate it in the turnstile here. If there wasn't a turnstile, you need to validate your ticket on the uh, on the train or beforehand. Um, I don't think you could validate on the train. Maybe you could. Uh, I don't remember. But there's usually a ticket machine to validate it because if you don't and you get stopped, you're going to get hit with a fine. Um, I don't think you could play the dumb tourist. <laughs> So this is what the trains look like, and uh, I was on my way. So there's the Leo Express on the other track. So those are the three ways on how to get to Termini from the Rome airport. I hope you found this video helpful, and if you liked it, give me a thumbs up or subscribe. Thanks for watching.